Yo Trackers, it is Kiralis. Welcome to your track simulator. And we're still in Southampton. As you know, I took a load to Manchester, which is far up here somewhere. There we go, there's Manchester, just next to Liverpool. And I was thinking like, should I do it on off camera? But then I saw the clock, it's like 20 p.m. 8 p.m., sorry. And I thought, no, let's do it on camera because that's gonna be some epic night driving here in England. So I thought, why not? Why not record it and make it an episode? Let me just see if I will fail with this or not. There we go, connected. Pretty epic. Let's, so oh, wrong button. Let's move out. And yeah, I still haven't got tired of the game. I love it. I absolutely love the game. Like, every time I sit down on a sofa, watch TV, I just think about this game. It's so damn addicting. Oh shit, this would be a tight squeeze. Let me see, how's the mirrors look like? Are we squeezing this through? Are we squeezing this through? Please, please, please succeed. Pretty epic, pretty nice. And like, I mean, look at the weather! We're in the UK, it's like sunny and everything is just perfect. I have no idea what that's about. Usually it rains. Nah, that's just stereotypical. Stereotypical. But no, I've been to England like tons of times because Miss Kirellis is from England. And uh, usually it actually rains in England for some damn reason. I don't know why, but it does. So I'm just happy it's sunny here now because I don't want to drive in crappy weather for no reason. I just want to get off this island if it starts raining. And as well, <gasps> focus, that was so bad. I was thinking European style, like Swedish style. Right side of the road, but this is England. Oh my god, oh my god. That would be a huge no-no. Uh, so, alright, I'm on this side of the road. Damn, I will never get used to this. It is so strange. But yeah, I was, I was talking about this. Like, some of you guys suggested me uh, try and download the physic mod for this, which like makes the the thing with the truck like uh, I don't know what you say in English, but you know it like moves and all the physics in the truck are there. So when you're turning the like the the cabin, which is sit and turn and stuff like that, but it kind of did fail because I was just trying it out on a parking lot and I hit something and the cabin and truck couldn't stop moving. So I just got seasickness and I thought I can't use this, which kind of sucked. And I also tried out the company logos, which is a cool mod because it gives you the, like the DHL logos on trailers, uh, IKEA on like company brand logo names and stuff like that. But it looked a bit not really finished for the game yet. So I'm just gonna wait and see if there's any better solution on that because like nah, kind of kind of destroyed some of the views. That didn't really look to fit in on some places, so I'm just gonna skip that even though it was a great mod and stuff But I'm just gonna skip that until it gets like Maybe some other person will release a better Version of it or something. I don't know Let me see London Cardiff Oh shit, this truck is fast. I didn't even look Because that's how I roll I'm a pro truck driver Please weather, be nice, do not rain. I'm gonna jinx the weather now. I can just feel that I'm gonna jinx the weather and it's gonna start pouring down rain in like one minute. But hopefully it won't. I just wanna show you guys the nighttime driving because that is epic. Even though it's pretty dark, it might be get like totally boring to watch. But uh, it is epic. Like if you if you download the game, the trial version, or bought a game or anything, the night driving is absolutely epic. It's really hard to catch like the feeling of it on camera, I guess, because oh, dude, you are a total badass overtaking me and stuff. But uh, but it is epic. Like it's kind of hard to describe. Like watching a movie of it and playing the game is totally a different ball game because the game is so much better than a movie, I guess. But but it is cool and all. Let me just focus on this because this is. What's up? Where's the... Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I called the motorways highways in the last episode. Totally sorry, guys. They're called motorways even in Sweden. I don't know why I use highways. 
but I, but I said that. So I'm sorry about that. Do not rage about it anymore. It's motorways, alright? But this ain't a motorway. Trust me, this is like... A 50 kilometers per hour way. Come on, buddy, I don't want to hit you, alright? So, it, uh, drive faster. You can do it. I have 344 kilometers to destination. Put on my lights. There we go. No, which lights are there? That's, oh, no. Oh, they will get so mad if I... If I use my... No! Look, it's raining! I knew it! I knew it! I've jinxed the weather! I've jinxed the weather! I'm... No! This is horrible, but screw that. What can I do about it? Put on the wipers and be a happy camper about it, I guess. Don't tell me the road to Manchester is like this. Because I will start crying, and dude... Don't make me overtake you in this weather, because I can totally do it. What is... why is that dude? What is that dude doing? Why is that dude driving on the wrong side of the road? Dude? That was really strange. Oh, he might be overtaking the truck in front of us, but I can see it because it's so damn foggy. Like, I'm gonna tell a little story here, because when I was young, my, my, my dad started a company, a trucking company. And since I've been like 15 or 14 or something, I've been always telling that I don't want to work with trucks whatsoever. I have, don't want to have anything to do with trucks because it is so damn boring. Then I started working in different companies. I worked in like with electronics, uh, IT. I purchased a lot of like, you know, I worked for a company which I like worked, worked in sales and management and marketing and stuff like that. So I purchased like new computers, went on like different conventions and stuff like that with different companies like yeah, Samsung, Intel, and Dell, and just a bunch of stuff, yeah. So I worked with that for quite so many years and it was pretty cool. Then. One day, a friend of mine called that and just like, dude, all right, this is the situation. There's a company here in Sweden. They're looking for for a Polish-speaking person for for work, right? And I was like, all right, what's the work about? And it's yeah, it's it's including tracking. And I was like, no, no way, no way, I'm not doing that, no way. But then I thought like, working in office, just managing trucks and stuff might be cool might be cool so I thought yeah let's go then let's go then and I, have, I had no experience whatsoever from trucks and I got to the job interview and basically like the next day I, I was hired and uh, that that's the story of how I got into trucking so I called my dad and said dad you know what I'm gonna start working for this company and he was like for real like that's like he's got his own company he's got like I don't know how many trucks he's got like 10 or 15 or whatever right but he's actually like employed by this company as well because this company is one of the hugest or biggest companies in in Europe or in the world actually it's not DHL it's not Twinker it's not uh, TNT or anything it's not the UPS it's called DSV it is pretty big right so and I was like, yeah, I got employed by them. And he was like, I told you so. And I was like, yeah, you did. You did. And like, I should have listened to you before because now I love the job. The job is pretty, pretty epic, to be honest. Like, I'm not a track driver and I'm pointing it out because my driving kind of sucks, right? My driving is pretty bad and horrible. So that's why I'm not, I'm not a truck driver and uh, I, would, I would suck as a truck driver. But I manage the trucks. So I got like tons of clients in Sweden, they call me up, dude, we got this and this, can you solve this issue for us? And I was, I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. I look for our fleet with trucks, which is about 400 trucks, give them a call, say, dude, drive there with your truck and pick this stuff up, right? So they go there, pick it up, deliver it maybe in, Pro in Czech Republic or Poland or Slovakia or whatever Central European country it is. And that's what I do for, for a living at the moment. And play computer games, of course. Why wouldn't I? Computer games are absolutely epic. I can see the motorway in front of us. Hopefully it is, because this sucks. Dude, no. No way. I had it. 
headed with your shit and slow driving. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. That was bad, Kirellis. That was really bad. But I made it. <gasps> parking brake, parking brake. Alright. I need to focus on this now. I've been talking for ages and I have been out of my game. That overtaking just did ruin it all for me. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing for a living. Computer games and managed trucks. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Even though I wish I could play more computer games, because, you know, working from 8 to 5 each day, and then coming home and trying to record computer games while you're having a family, it is pretty, pretty, pretty hard. <sighs> is my... Oh, is get... Oh, it's not me yawning, it's this dude. I guess he wants to sleep, and this is bad. This is so bad, because we have to find a parking lot and sleep, I guess. Oh my god, come on, truck. I need to fix it up more. I need to add more acceleration in this track. Or buy a new track. So, I know a lot of you suggested to buy... to buy the Scania tracks, and I think that's what I'm gonna do, actually. I might do that. This is the M5. No, there was the M5. Is this the M5? Let me just see here. I'm turning around here. I'm sorry, by the way, because this is England, so I'm actually driving on the correct side. Look at look at it. Now I can't see anything. Let me just hide the GPS a bit because it's pretty annoying. It's so damn dark. I can't see anything. And the rain and the weather. Look at it. It's even lighting is on. All right. I guess this is the M5, and there's. Oh, look at that. There's actually a sleeping place on that side, but there ain't one on this side. I'm pretty much screwed. I'm pretty much screwed. <sighs> it's not me yawning, it's the driver. Don't rage on me. They will totally rage me when I have those lights on. But I guess this is a better video with those lights. Ah, let's just use those. Yeah, I kind of like... It is hard, like, I try, I'm try. i trying to release one video per day, and I know a lot of you are like, oh, dude, you totally need to release more videos and stuff, and I'm like, I wish I could, but I don't really have the time. Maybe one day this could be my work. <gasps> Let me just see here. I'm not gonna use those lights. I'm not gonna indicate, turn down this parking, and I need to sleep. I am so sorry. I thought he was, like, super... Super rested, but he wasn't. He was like totally tired. Let me see. Do I need gas? No, I think the gas will last to Manchester. So I'm gonna fill it up in Manchester. Parking lot. Parking lot here. <sighs> Can we sleep here? If I turn off my engine? No, we can't because I have overshoot the parking lot for some stupid reason which I have no idea why. Let me just back it up here a bit. Like there is a parking lot here, what's wrong? I kinda wanna hit that truck. Oh, it is so close. Come on! I'm inside of a parking lot. What is wrong? You know what? I will I will do it like this. I will put my trailer here. I know this is this is not realistic whatsoever, but it needs to be done. Put this here. Go here. Stop the truck and sleep. Oh my god, it's so nice. England! Thank you for the nice weather. Look at that. It was horrible weather at night. Pretty epic when I woke up. There we go. Wipers off and Manchester, here we come. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so it is pretty hard to like keep up all the recordings and stuff like that. So, you know. Don't rage. It's not my fault. Yeah, it is my fault because I could spend more time recording, but you know, that doesn't pay the really bills, so. 
one day, we'll say one day. One day that will be their first mission. My, my goal in life, play video games and live of it. Can that actually be a, like a lifetime goal? I guess it doesn't matter, as long as it pays the bills, I guess. I'm gonna turn on my lights. No lights needed whatsoever. Cambridge, Birmingham, Liverpool. M5. Motorway. Like, I've been to England so many times, I have never driven in England before. Oh no, oh no, oh no, dude. Oh, saved by the bell. I can't think it's annoying to drive on the side of the road. But, alright. I'm game. I'm game for that. Pretty epic, pretty nice. 228 kilometers. We might speed this video up a bit because I got a funny feeling this will be the longest video in the history of this game. Imagine me recording like a drive from London to to Madrid or something. Speeding offense? I'm doing 90. <sighs> I'm not sure about the miles yet. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm a higher spy spender, a big spender in this game anyway, so. Still got 50k, I got my tracked pimp and everything. So what I will do, until the next video, I guess I will actually drive off camera a bit so we earn enough money to get a second truck and hire a driver. Or at least upgrade our, our offices in Szczecin, Poland. Because that might be needed. Dude, I'm indicating. Just step back. Swansea, Liverpool, Birmingham. Still on the right track, I guess. Why did I change lanes? No idea why I did that. I got a funny feeling my fraps is lagging a bit. Let me just restart the fraps here. Alright, it's restarted. Hopefully it works out. M5 motorway. Change lanes again. What is up, Fraps? Why are you lagging? I don't know. If you're experiencing lag here in the video, I'm really sorry about that. It's like, since I up upgraded your track to 1.2.5 version, I get some lag. For some reason. I'm not sure if that's the game or not, but yeah, I get some lag. Look at that wor wor road works. In progress. Yo, dude. Corral is coming through. 186 kilometers. We are gaining some ground. And you, dude? Come on. Don't make me break. Oh my god. Speeding offense. I will soon hit someone. I will cause an accident. Services. I don't want to service us, I just want to get to Manchester. I, get there. I guess there are some people from Manchester watching this. I wonder which two football team you are like cheering on. United or City? That's the question. I bet you have more teams than that though, but I don't know. My favorite team in the UK is Aston Villa from Birmingham. Since I've been a little kid, that's the team to be. Even though they're not that good anymore, we're much better back in the day. But that's still the team of, of, of my life. Aston Villa. I don't really watch any U uh, Premier League anymore for some reason, I don't know. I watch more like Italian League or the, the Spanish League or even the French League, German League. I'm not sure why. I bet the Premier League is still good and everything. But I guess like every country play, play different style of football, so I'm, I guess I'm more interested in in the other country's style of playing. Look at that big thing. 
Where are we? We are... Uh, let me just check the map where, where we are. We're just off Birmingham! Epic! I could go and see, check out an Aston Villa game. If I wanted to, but I can't because I'm driving a big truck and there's no football in this game. Liverpool! I guess we are going for Liverpool, because Manchester and Liverpool are pretty close, I guess. Never been there, so I'm, I'm not really sure. Liverpool, Birmingham, Cambridge. Our turn is coming up, so we're leaving the M5. Why are we doing that? Cambridge. Cambridge got the epic university. Cambridge and Oxford, I know, got some universities, which are pretty cool. Turning, turning. Oh, you know why it might seem that I lag a bit? Let me indicate and change lanes here. It might be due, due to the, I'm using the keyboard and changing a lot. Like, uh, turning the wheel a lot. Because that seems like it might be that what's causing it. But I'm not sure. I'm not experiencing any lag now. Oh, fo focus, Corrales. Alright, we have 147 kilometers to the destination, so we are pretty close. And then I'm just gonna go off camera driving until we get the money needed to do stuff. So, hopefully, I can buy a new truck. Or even, I could even do that by taking a loan from the bank. But I'm like, I hate having loans on stuff in real life as well. So I usually earn the money first and then buy. I hate down payments and stuff like that. It's the worst thing ever. Down payments on stuff. It is. It sucks. It's like I know I know people in real life that take a loan or a down payment on a trip, like a vacation trip. And I have nothing against that if they like. But like it's like they they. They work and stuff, you know, you can easily save up the money, but imagine taking a loan for a trip or a vacation, you know. Coming home after two weeks from like Thailand or whatever, and then like having to pay off the whole trip. I mean, that totally sucks. Like, I could never do that, never. Like, I'd rather just skip a vacation one year and save up the money and go next year on an epic vacation instead. I know I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. Oh, and yes, yeah well, Black Friday. Thank you for all the explanations about Black Friday. Now I know what Black Friday is about. And according to some of you, that it actually seems pretty dangerous to having a Black Friday. Speeding of fans! I'm driving 90 kilometers per hour. That is not even fast. Oh my god. But yeah, it seems like people being trampled to death and stuff like that. Oh my god, that's horrible. Just for sales. Where has humanity led us? Humanity has led us to horrible things. Just for like a TV or something, I'm gonna kill someone. No. That is not cool at all. Horrible. Hopefully everyone is okay this Black Friday. Because I, I don't know, I, I don't watch the American news, so I have no idea if something horrible has happened happen there. Look at this game, like, oh, no, I know, I know it's a driving game, and I'm just driving, like, it's not Need for Speed or anything, it's not my, much action, but it's still so amazing. Like, I get a feel for it now. Pretty epic, pretty cool. So yeah, the story about the, how I got started working with trucks, I, I told you about that before. And my dad is like eager to, to hire me for his company, like just to sit there and manage the trucks and stuff like that. But it's like, I'm not sure, like working with my dad, it's like, I have a thing for family businesses. It is cool and all, but you know, you have to like be like totally getting along and I'm not saying my, my, my dad and me are like getting along like perfectly fine but I can just imagine spending like every single day of the week like the work week with him might get pretty stressful so I'm, I think I'm gonna skip that I'm just gonna do my thing I'm gonna be a truck driver in game because that's epic 
that's and that's enough for me. <laughs> Look at the scenery. I just forgot about to, to see stuff and check out stuff, but it's looking pretty. It's like all right. This might actually lag. No, it doesn't lag. It's just the speed I'm driving. Like if you if you drive in a car and look out the window this way, you see exactly the same thing. It's like blur. Seventy-three kilometers left to the destination. We are getting to Manchester. Imagine seeing Old Trafford or something. This football arena here. That would be pretty cool. I'm gonna overtake that truck because we can. Yes, we can. I can totally do this. It's so strange driving on this side. I, I'm getting used to it now, you know, because it's like a straight motorway. I can't fail on this. But but it is so damn strange. And my explanation in the last video was actually correct. It comes from the medievals when people were fighting with swords and everything. It's just so you can draw your sword much faster if you're right-handed. I'm actually left-handed, so for me it would be like totally poo-poo even. So it's good that I didn't live in the medieval medievals because I would suck it, suck it as an eyed, coming with a sword in your left hand, and they would just laugh at me. So, so it's good that I didn't do that. So let me see, Manchester, Liverpool, straight ahead. Look at this. I've been driving this track for 3,596 kilometers now. My precious, my precious. So epic scenery. And I have to fix the lag, because I'm starting to feel like the update which I did kind of did something to the game which was not cool. Or maybe a mod did it actually. So I'm gonna remove all the mods I have for the game and see if it works out better. Manchester Car... Carlisle? What is Carlisle in front of me? Is that a city? Can you eat it? Car Carlisle. Carlisle. Is it called Carlisle? Carlisle. Let me just see the spelling here on the sign. Manchester, Carl, Carlisle, Glasgow. We are pretty close to Scotland, which is yet again pretty epic. Maybe we can check out the Loch Ness monster. Let's see if we can find a Loch Ness monster. I know I'm talking a lot of crap now. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. It's like. I have to I have to talk to you guys, otherwise I will get insane. Look at me. Taking this curve like a bus. Just turn, I mean curve. It's not curve. I won't say it in Swedish because then my Polish audience will rage. Because a turn in Swedish is called a certain word, right? And in Poland that's a curse word. 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 So I won't I won't tell you that, but you know. Turn in Polish or in Swedish is something else in Polish, so I can't I can I can say that. Loan installment totally payment. Two thousand eight hundred and seven euros were paid to my loan company, which is I'm alright with that. I mean I earned tons of more than that. I kind of starting to think like the loads they pay a sick amount more than you usually get paid in real life because I'm working with this and I usually pay the drivers and stuff like that and trust me they don't get paid that much as I'm doing now no way I'm gonna actually see if there's like a mod which gets the real prices instead because this is like playing the Teletubbies with with econo econ economics at least the prices. And I know I talk a lot of I speak in English and I don't understand some words or have no idea what they're called. So I'm just speaking out some words, and if they're totally wrong, I'm sorry about that. But that's how I roll. The more you speak, the more you learn. So. And the music is still by Josh. Hard, hard word. No, let me just check the radio. Josh Woodward, joshwoodward.com is his website, and you can use it in your videos. You know what? We didn't get any traffic offense. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna back up the trailer. And like there's nothing else happened. Alright. I didn't see the red light. I was totally confused here. We are officially in Manchester, by the way. Oh, let's go. We didn't really have any incident on this route either. I guess I'm getting better at this game. Hopefully I am. I'm not sure. I'm just looking at the real life clock and it's pretty late at night at the moment. And I'm thinking that this episode is the longest episode in the history of this game. Maybe not. I lag again. Oh, you know why there might be lag? Just because I'm running like one million programs in the background. That might cause the lag. Why did I think of that earlier? I'm using the handbrake a lot. Let me just see, how does this look? Oh, we have like miles to the car ahead. Look at my truck, it's totally badass. One thing which added is the buses in the new patch, and it is pretty cool to have buses and other stuff. I wish it was more pedestrians and stuff like that, or people around the maps at least. It gets pretty lonely. I wish I could, oh, I wish I could add my wife here next to me. Just as my like, personal co-driver. Oh, dude, dude, this is bad. You have to move out because look at my trailer. Alright, if there was somebody there, I would totally have hit them by now. Alright, look at this Manchester in the in the in the distance. Keralis is in Manchester. Epic. Epic. It's kinda cool how, how they actually get the scenery from each city or a skyline of each city and put it in the game. I'm not really sure if this is the scenery of Manchester, but I guess it is. Because out of all the other cities have been the sceneries. Dude, I'm totally alright. You just go, alright? Because I totally failed up. Because I thought it was European driving or Swedish driving again. Alright, thank you, buddy. Alright, oh, he's e did you see that? He even flashed me that it's okay, dude. You can go. You can drive. Oh my god, buddy. This is so bad. This is so bad driving by me. Switching lanes and turning into LKV. Which is actually a German word. Or short for something. There is my parking lot space. I'm just gonna turn the trailer here. And we are epic. We have reached our destination. I'm not doing auto parking, alright? Because that's cheating. I like parking my own trailer, right? Because I learned by that. So let's see. Alright, this is bad. This is so bad. I guess we have to do it again. Oh yeah, wrong spot. Look at that. Look at that mirror. Totally failed that one. It doesn't matter. We've got one more shot here. And this won't fail this time. I'm not doing auto parking. Please stop. I'm too epic to do, to do that. I, I totally got this. Concentration, and we have arrived. Let me just admire my own parking here. Oh, was let me just back up a bit more here. We have good work. Why not excelente? I made a pretty awesome work. Oh yeah, damage penalty. Where did we get that? I don't know. No, I don't know. But still, pretty epic. And I can choose one more thing. I got this high value cargo almost up on full. So I'm gonna pick one more just to get that done. 
And we are good to go. Let me see, have we disconnected the trailer? So you know what guys, thank you for watching this episode. I am in Manchester, so you know what, I will just explore Manchester. Drive through the whole city. And, uh, and just explore. So I will see you in the next one. This is Kiralis. Thank you for watching and good night. Bye bye.